this isn't for you. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely not, I won't let you do it. Hello all, hello all, welcome back to the channel. Hello all, hello all, welcome back to the channel. Hey, how's it going? Apple have dropped the M4 MacBook Airs. Yes, they have. They've been out for a while now. If you don't know, where have you been? If you don't know, watch the video up here. Do you know what I mean? Come on. You may be wondering, should I get the M3 Air or should I get the M4 Air? <laughs> This video is quite similar to the video that I posted here. Mm? It's between the M3 iPad Airs and the M2 iPad Airs. Should you get the M3 MacBook Air or should you get the M4 MacBook Air? Today we're going to answer that question together. I'm sure you already have the answer, let's be honest. But by the end of this video, you'll absolutely be sure of your decision that you made at the start of the video, right? Cool. We're going to talk about the performance the battery life, the design, and whether the M4 chip is actually worth it. Mm, cool. Performance. Let's talk about the speed. The M3 MacBook Air was already fast, right? We know this. It was built on a three nanometer architecture with a fast neural engine. Yeah, great, super fast. But the M4 takes things a little bit further. Apple claims to have up to 1.4 times faster performance than the M3. That's not that much, but maybe that is for you. But for me, nah. If you're doing a lot of multitasking on your laptop, then you'll probably notice it a little bit more. But if not, then do you know what I mean? But again, it begs the question, it goes back to the question. What are you using your MacBook Air for? Is it Netflix? Is it Disney Plus? Is it streaming, essay writing? Is it browsing the internet? Literally, if that's it, then you won't notice a difference. And the upgrade is absolutely not worth it. From an M3, that is. Cool, end of section one. Section two, battery life. Okay, so long story short, the battery life is the same. Apple are still advertising 18 hours of battery life, same as the M3, but it's just that the M4 is more efficient because of the faster M4 chip, it's more efficient. That's basically it. So you'll probably get like 30 to 45 minutes more on a heavy workload, but I know you're not upgrading from an M3 to an M4 for your battery life. Absolutely not, I won't let you do it. I just won't, <laughs> I just won't let you do it. Pause. Have you liked, have you subscribed? I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Back to the show. Section three, design and features. I know you're not upgrading your M3 MacBook Air because it looks different. No, it's identical. The M3, the M4, identical. It has the same aluminium, has the same camera. It has the same screen. You have your 13 inches and you have your 15 inches, both on the M3 and the M4. Aesthetically though, we have a new sky blue color. Ooh. <laughs> So the sky blue colour on the M4s is replacing the space grey on the M3. I know you're not upgrading for a colour. They both have Apple intelligence. Any M device, whether that be a MacBook Air or iPad, if it has an M in it, it supports Apple intelligence. Of course, with the new M4 chip, it will support Apple intelligence better. <laughs> but not by much because a lot of the Apple intelligence features are not that heavy on your laptop. It's all right. The height, the depth, the width, the weight is exactly the same, but that's it really for the design. And you're not upgrading your Mac for the design. I'm sure you're not. It's all in the chip really. If externally it's identical, it's all in the internals, which is the chip, which is the performance, which we spoke about already. And did you need to upgrade when we spoke about the performance? Hmm, I don't think that you did. I mean, to be fair, externally or internally, I'm not sure if you'll count this, right? But instead of just 16 or 24 gigabytes of memory on the M3, on the M4, you can have it up to 32 gigabytes of memory. Yay. I'm not sure if this counts as internal or external, but the two ports that you get on the side of the M3 MacBook Airs are Thunderbolt slash USB four ports, whereas on the M4, you have two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports. I know you're not upgrading for the ports. <laughs> That's the end of section three. Moving on to section four. Who is this for? If you have the M3, keep it. <laughs> if you have the M2, keep it. If you have the M1, maybe I'll let you upgrade, maybe. 
I'll think about it because I'm currently running my M1 and it's doing so fine. It slows down a little bit here and there when I'm running certain apps, but it's fine. I'm able to get by it and I heavily edit on there as well. So, you know, I'm not running 8K footage, two lots of 8K footage on my device at the same time. I'm not, but like, who is, do you know what I mean? <laughs> somebody is, yeah, somebody is. But then if you're doing that, what are you doing with the MacBook Air? Hmm? Hmm. Do you see it? So who is this really for, you ask? Someone that doesn't have a MacBook Air and would just like to get the latest and greatest because they're gonna have it for the next five to 10 years? Cool, you're rich <laughs> and you want it, cool. Do you know what I mean? Who am I to bat an eyelid? Who am I to say anything? It is so up to you. But other than that, like, this isn't for you. Do you know what I mean? So the M3 or the M4, mm? I would say use this opportunity now that the M4 is out to see if you can get a cheeky M3 at a good price. Do you know what I mean? See what's out there, do some shopping about and get the M3. Cause I still use my M1 as my daily driver and I'm having a great time. Battery life isn't the best. For reference, it's the 14 inch one. It's not the best. Could I have better? Yeah. But am I right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? What was so funny to me is that when I made the video about the M3 versus the M2 iPad Airs, there were people in the comments saying, I am that person that purchased the M3 iPad from my M2 or they were the ones that got it. So don't feel ashamed if you are one of the people that got the M4 MacBook Airs or are going to. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. What are you gonna do? Do you even care about the M4 or do you even care about the MacBook Airs in general? Let me know in the comments. I can take it, don't worry. <laughs> I'll probably even egg you on to get the latest and greatest, not gonna lie, because I just like to see people. Anyway, I'm gonna send you. Thank you so much for watching. Wait, before I go, I forget to plug my socials in all of my videos. <laughs> it's because I was nervous. <laughs> but I have a little bit more confidence now. So at Shay Jenny on TikTok and Instagram. Make sure you follow me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe, like. Bye. But it's just that the M4 efficiency, mm, but it's just that the M4 efficiency. <laughs> but the M4 takes things a bit farther. But the M4 takes things a little bit farther. But the M4 takes things a little bit further.